Welcome back towners. Today we're going to make some cabbage and turnip greens. Let's get it. All right, to start off this recipe, we have our uh, head of cabbage. Uh, we took our cabbage and quartered it and basically sliced it into about half inch pieces. Uh, once the uh, cabbage was completely cleared, we uh, washed it in our uh, colander. And this is a bag of uh, turnip greens that we have. We took this whole bag and placed it into the colander. Also, even though it said washed, we washed it anyway. Here we have about six or seven slices of bacon that we uh, sliced up into pieces to make bit bacon bits. Now we have our large skillet pan here. We placed our bacon into the pan to start sauteing it. So we want to use that bacon grease to uh, flavor the greens and cabbage and to cook it. And basically uh, let the heat rise and in a medium, medium high, medium high heat and just rendering all this bacon fat out. Once the bacon was uh, pretty much done, we then added in a bag of frozen vegetables, some uh, onions and a mixture of yellow, red, and green bell peppers. Uh, we took some of the bacon fat out. Uh, you don't have to, but we took some of the bacon fat out because I wanted to use some of that bacon to use in another dish. I'm gonna use that to uh, make some, uh, to fry some chicken with. Uh, we then added in our cabbage to our pan, and then we added in as much uh, turnip greens that we could. And we just basically just let this continue to cook and uh, wilt down. Um, the cabbage as well as the greens are gonna release a lot of liquid and uh, they're also gonna shrink down quite a bit. So even though if everything can't fit now, you can just add it later. As you see here, we put the lid on and the cabbage and greens wilted down some. So we're then just adding more to it. Now we season this with some uh, salt, pepper, uh, some uh, garlic powder and some Creole seasoning, as well as some uh, red pepper flakes. And we're just continuing to just mix everything up. And we have pretty much all the greens into the pan now, and all of the cabbage is already in there. We're just kind of slowly cooking this down um, with the lid on. This process took about 30 minutes completely to uh, wilt everything down and, and, and have it soft enough that to my, to my liking. Uh, we then added in some vinegar as well as a tablespoon of chopped garlic. And that was pretty much the last of uh, the seasoning that we added to it. And this was our final product. Um, now it's up to you. This is gonna, you're gonna have a lot of liquid in the pan. Um, I personally don't like a lot of the liquid, the pot liquor as people call it. Um, so I, I left most of mine in the pan, so I want mine a bit dry on the dry side, but if you want that liquid, you can definitely add that to it. You can see some of that at the bottom of this bowl. Um, but this is our final product. The cabbage and the greens came out um, very soft and pliable. Uh, it had a nice flavor from all the seasonings and the bacon fat that we added to it. If anyone has any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.